Yo guys, welcome back to the Uncle Sharma channel. Three points into two, Palmer won. Awful, awful performance. Not, not a good performance, but it's one of those ones where it's like, come on, man, we've got, we've got the three points. 10 points clear off Juve, who obviously still have that one game that they need to play against Napoli. It's just pissing me off now every time we look at the table and there's still that one game behind that they are. But 10 points for the moment for Juve. Six points clear of uh, AC Milan, who dropped points yesterday. Udinese came through for us, apart from that Danish prick, Striga Larsson. I don't know what he was doing. That handball was the most ridiculous. That that guy, I don't know. You know, some people are saying there's some match fixing going on. I, I don't want to say that kind of stuff, but that was ridiculous. Like, this guy's trying to do, trying to dunk on someone. Like, what's he trying to do playing volleyball? Crazy. And obviously the usual frank the tank scoring the the penalty 16 penalties this season milan but anyway focusing on inter awful performance as i said that first half i think that was the worst uh, or most sloppy first half that we've had this season in my memory and uh, funnily enough the i think the worst first half before this was against palma where we were two nil down but this one we were it, we were one nil nil at half time but it was so sloppy like little technical mistakes like controls going wrong simple passes just lethargic sluggish like it felt like it was one of those lunchtime kickoffs where you know the team's a bit sluggish and lethargic but this was you know awful to watch the first half you know it was just broken play even palmer not very good to watch um but the thing is this team just always manages to create chances it doesn't matter how they play we still had two or three clear cut chances so we had that Scrinia one where you know they um, blocked it on the pretty much on the line Lukaku had a chance um, and then there was the one that with Ericsson Hakimi crossing it in and Ericsson was just like a yard or two ahead of the ball so unlucky um, but yeah in that first half everyone was just awful I think Hakimi was the standout player in the first half but Alexis, the guy that we said in the preview, you know, that Conte mentioned that he's in great form physically and mentally and we saw it out there. First off, he hardly even got involved, you know, it wasn't his fault. The Most of the play was going out on the right side to the Hakimi-Barella combination. But second off, we moved up a little bit more on the left towards the Eriksen, Perisic and Sanchez. Uh, combination and uh, Sanchez, the first goal was like you know like a a cardi like peak cardi you know just the uh, proper poacher just smelled the defender was gonna pass it back to the keeper a little mistake there and he just um, scored just about over the line goal line technology coming through for us but happy for Sanchez man and he got another one what a assist by Lukaku that's his seventh assist by the way this season Lukaku we can talk about his goals but this guy is a complete forward and he's the in this whole of Serie A I believe he's the second highest assister after Chanaloglu and uh, there's one more midfielder I forgot who who it was someone there's another midfielder on eight assists and Lukaku has got seven so you know great great numbers you know put some respect on his technical ability because that pass is all timed it perfectly I thought he'll wait too long but it was perfectly timed for Sanchez got his two goals um you know three goals in two matches what, what more can you say with Sanchez you know we were, we were we kept saying that we need more contribution in front of goal and he's given it to us last match he scored one shot one goal uh this match you know didn't really have many chances but he took them so fair play to the guy not as involved as usually is off the ball or dribbling wise but he did the job um overall yeah second half there was slight improvement but we had 47 percent possession and they had 53 you know you can't you can't be out possessed by by palma the second last in the league awful team you know but today they look good against us but i've watched them before into the season they're they're a really bad team so that was kind of disappointing that you can't be dominated at some points by palma i'm happy with you know giving the opposition possession and then counter-attacking them because that's you know becoming kind of a little bit of our game but you have to take control of the game a little bit more at times uh, Barella this was probably one of his worst performances this season he was he looked really especially the first half he improved in the second half but the whole midfield really was not good Brozovic, Eriksen, Barella didn't really take control of the game but there was some nice touches from Eriksen here and there, which I really like. Some of the first time touches and passes that he does. And he was subbed for Vidal, who had a decent impact into the game. 
Uh, man on the match, who would I give it to? You have to give it to Alexis Sanchez, two goals. You know, he's the one who's clinched the victory for us. But it was one of those matches that apart from if Sanchez didn't score those two goals, it would have been difficult to pick a man on the match. Um, Lukaku improved in the second half as did the rest of the team. The defence was a little bit sloppy. It was all screeny and Bastoni had a couple of sloppy passes here and there, especially in the second half, which brought the pressure onto us. And they, you know, we were lucky that they don't have much quality in the in the final third. Caramo, as we said, you know, the ex, the tax of the ex for Inter. This guy was performing out there like, uh, you know, peak uh, Jovino, who's, you know, usually plays like peak Ronaldinho. So we were lucky there was no Jovino out there today. But there was a couple of interesting players that Dennis Mann looked interesting, that Mihaila looked interesting. Thing. And then at the end, Conte's guy, <laughs> Graziano Pelle, came onto the pitch. We saw Conte hug them at the end. Um, but yeah, guys, performance to forget. But the most important thing, you know, is the three points. Um, still top scorers in the league. But Atalanta catching us up. They scored uh, five goals against uh, Crotone. So they're, they're, they're almost getting there. But we're still there. 62 goals, I believe, now we're on. But yeah, for me, Alexis Sanchez, man, the match. Um, not really any flop of the match so to say everyone was kind of uh, average today but it is what it is we want to go on the next one Atalanta massive massive match as I said if we win the Atalanta match then I'm really going to be start to be convinced by this inter team that can really win the Scudetto if we maintain the six seven point gap between us and Milan that's that's going to be the key but yeah guys make sure to leave a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you for the preview for the Atalanta match ciao